So I've previously come to the conclusion that the DJI mic is one of, if not the best, dual wireless mic solution currently available. And GoPro still continue to set the benchmark when it comes to small action cameras. So why not mix both and create a great overall combo? Despite the odd random crash, some of them very frustrating, and the minor niggles here and there, there's no denying the fact that the GoPro Hero 10 is a fantastic overall camera. What I really dislike though, and it's not just GoPro who do this by the way, is when you have to buy separate accessories, expensive accessories when it comes to GoPro, to make seemingly simple tasks possible. The DJI Action 2 for instance, plug a microphone directly into its USB-C port and you're done ready to shoot great video with external audio. While the GoPro also has a USB-C port, we have to purchase this expensive media mod, a whole new frame, just to get external audio. Personally, I see it as simply another way to squeeze more money from the customer. Okay, granted, it does come with HDMI out, as well as another external mic in the top corner, which isn't much better than the camera's built-in microphone in the first place, mind. But 9 times out of 10, this will be purchased for this single audio input, and it's an expensive way of doing so. Rant aside, we can go ahead and remove the side door, in order to slide the camera in, and lock it into place. We'll ignore the poor attempt at external audio built into the media mod and go straight to the DJI mic instead. With the cold shoe adapter installed, we can slide the receiver straight into the mount on the top or the side of the media mod, although it's a very tight fit and this is the furthest it will go. Saying that, it's still quite secure, and since we cannot interface with the USB-C port, we use the included TRS cable to connect the receiver to the available port on the media mod. Notice the shutter button is a little more difficult to operate in this configuration, so the receiver is better suited to one side, and it can only face forwards since the cold shoe mounts on the media mod only allow insertion of accessories one way. So this is the only configuration that's really usable, unless you use other accessories of course. Nevertheless, with the transmitter in hand, you're ready to shoot. So this is an audio test of the GoPro Hero 10 complete within its media mod connected to the DJI mic which is mount to the side. I have the microphone on my chest just here. I do have a furry windscreen attached. It's slightly breezy out today. But this should give you a good idea of the audio quality you can expect to achieve from the DJI mic connected to the GoPro Hero 10 within a media mod. So finally a case of where we can successfully use a DJI and GoPro product together and the audio quality captured is really pretty good. Other than the overly tight fit, the entire setup looks great and works really well. It's not the cheapest solution of course, the GoPro, its media mod and the DJI mic are all expensive in their own right and to be fair, again depending upon the type of content you're looking to capture, you may find it cheaper to pick up a mirrorless compact camera instead. Saying that, you always have the option of not using the media mod at all, considering you can record standalone audio with the DJI mic transmitters, which does of course mean syncing video and audio later in post, a possible solution for many users. Either way, the two products make for a great all-round solution.